Bon bonjour. We are in the Alpine and we're going up. Well, not to an Alpine mountains, but it's our favorite mountain. <laughs> I can think islands. I can't. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Oh, I'm so elated. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, uh, right now I just want to do a little first impression uh, video, raw, unedited, my first impressions of this car. Because um, as most people will buy cars, they will test drive and kind of get an idea of how the car is based on the previous generation or something, right? Um, but Alpine is completely new, so there's no benchmark to, to know how it drives. And I didn't had a real test drive, I had 5 minutes drive on the A110S. Not, not really like, not out, all out because it's in the city and it's not my car. And I had a little, little experience on the track. That's pretty much it. I never really got to be on the driver's seat experiencing the car. So today is where I'm going to experience the Alpine on where it's supposed to be, you know, experience on the mountain or on the track, you know. So, but with the, you know, non-S spec, which is a non-stiffer suspension set, it should be enjoyed on the real roads. And I can't, I can't wait. <laughs> Get out of the way. Uh, so, um, my car is not completely run in yet. I believe I can't rev up. Uh, they say don't drive sporting until 3,000 kilometers, but I'm almost 2,008. So I think I'm able to get a few revs in it. Okay, so I'm gonna just hit the button to get to sports mode. Okay. Uh, and uh, so far, first impressions. Let's talk about cruising the highway. Surprisingly stable. Because I was thinking a light car would be like treading everywhere on the highway. Yeah, but it's, it's actually all right. Um, I think it's because of the diffusers uh, and the arrow that is built into the car. So that kept the car really stable and very comfortable. I mean, my Porsche is bearable. This is more leaving the place. This like comfort away from bearable to comfort. I got this little gauge from like, you know, harsh to bearable to comfortable. So this is between bearable and comfortable, which is actually really nice. Oh, I love that roll. I just lift off a little bit and the car just tucked in. Oh, that's nice. So now it's sports mode, it's a little pop and crackle. I don't know if you can hear it through the camera. It's kind of nice though. I know some people online, they talk about how it needs more exhaust noise. I don't think you need it. it Alpine feels like a grown up toy. You know, that's, that's what it is you know, for me. Okay, so we're approaching the mountains. And uh, let's see if there is anything major, nothing major. Let's just pal on. If you're looking for the best protection for your car, look no further to expel. I put my cars through harsh conditions like constant B road blasting, road trips, and occasional track days, and I want my car to look the best. And Expel's Ultimate Plus Paint Protection Films never fail to protect the paint on my cars while keeping it looking amazing. All Expel's products, including Prime Window Tints, come with an official e warranty from the manufacturer, which gives me an additional confidence and maximum peace of mind when using their products. And this allows me to be fully present and enjoy all my experiences with my cars wherever I go and whatever I do. Click the link in the description below to find out more about Expel's products and their official dealers in Malaysia. Protect everything you love with Expel. And let's start our mountain climb. Oh, the turning is lovely. just sort of follows the front so lovely yeah I don't know how to describe it just feels so pleasant to drive and to, to go in the corner feels so natural to tuck into a corner
just aware of the car where I wanted to go. The steering is so accurate. of all steering really good so accurate and you can just place it to the inches of you know how close you want to get to an apex or to a corner um, and even though it's electronic assisted steering it is actually really the feedback is not bad yeah I mean it's not hydraulic steering you know like like the Lotus and Mira but it's sufficient and in fact I kind of like that it's light too because the car is light so it kind of pairs up with that lightness and uh, it's the, the, the ratio as well the, the speed of it uh, you know adjusting to the you know the, the, the way it adjusts to the speed of the car it's incredible it's it's so direct you don't have to do so much of you know of a turn just to get the car to turn in yeah all driving expressions I love how the, the, the rear is set up 
uh, that when you turn in, the rear will lean in, but it will tuck outside, right? So it allows you that little rotation, especially in that mid corner. Yeah, at, at first can be like a little bit unsettling because like, oh, you know, it, it just came out, but it really helps you rotate around the corner, carry more speed around the corner. So that rolly suspension, you know, that softer suspension and double wishbone really plays out over here. Yeah. I don't think it's necessarily the fastest car around B roads, but it's a lot of enjoyment, which, you know, uh, one of the, uh, I was reading an article about um, an interview with the, the person who developed the Alpine, the, the team that developed the Alpine and the test drivers. And they asked casually like, hey, how about Nürburgring red times? They're like, what Nürburgring red times? We don't care about Nürburgring, we just want to have fun, right? <laughs> and that's such a good attitude, solid attitude. Nowadays, everyone trying to compete with each other, trying to one-up each other, you know? Driving's all about the fun of it, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's right, son, it's my cat. Slide, 
you know, and that little looseness, but it doesn't translate into lack of confidence. It translates into a very unique driving experience. Quite confidence inspiring actually. Yeah. And, and it feels nice and you know, plush in the cabin. All it's such a oh, such a unique package. Oh, you can see I'm just oozing with happiness right now. <laughs> yeah, so such a special car. Yeah. Thank you so much Alpine for creating such an amazing machine. Uh, looks like I'll be driving a lot of this and uh, the drive to Thailand is going to be really, really, really fun. Yeah. Alright, let's get down and admire the car a little bit. Hello, Bang. Thank you. So we're here in Evo Club. Sorry, uh, in uh, Jin Sui Temple. Oof. That was really fun. I, I know I'm going to get down. I'm going to talk to a lot of people, so I might as well do the summary here. Uh, it's so unique. I mean, it's not like furious like a Ferrari or or crazy like an M2. There's just something really playful about it. It's like a... No parking here, yeah. Huh? No parking. Parlez-vous faux? Je ne parle pas anglais. So yeah, it feels like a ballet driver. It's very agile, but yet very athletic, very competent. All right, so yeah, that's that's the character of the Alpine. Explore more of it as I drive this car. All right, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you another video.